Hey guys, so today's video is going to be an e.l.f. haul. Um, I've never actually ordered on the e.l.f.'s website before, but I've always wanted to. I just never, like, went ahead and did it. Uh, but I was on the e.l.f.'s website recently, and I saw, like, it was around Halloween time, and I saw that if you ordered, like, now, uh, you could use the code TRICK, or you could use the code TREAT, like, TRICK or TREAT, and you get a free Halloween mystery bag. Um, with stuff up to $14 value. Um, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> place my order now. And what always happens to me, like when I get free stuff with orders or just like free things with stuff, I always end up liking them more than the things I buy. I don't know why, like that always happens to me. Apparently other people know what I like more than I know what I like. But yeah, that always happens to me and it happened again in this order. Like I've had these for almost a month and one of the things I got in my free little uh, mystery bag I think is my favorite thing in this whole box. So yeah, anyways, let's get started with the e.l.f. products. So, um, the main reason I ordered was I heard um, Young, Wild, and Polished raving about these two products, so I really, really, really wanted to try them. Um, this is one of their new brushes. I really wanted to try one of their new brushes. I'm really into brushes. I feel like they make such a big difference in the way you know, you apply any makeup product. Like, they matter. Brushes really matter. And she was raving about this new powder brush from their Beautifully Precise line. And it looked so big. I, I was wanting, like, a really big powder brush. Like, I don't have a big one that I can just dust on powder with. So soft. I absolutely love this brush. It's not too dense. And it just applies a perfect amount of powder. I've been loving this. I've been using it every single day, as you can tell, but I'm lame and, you know, every haul I do, I always put this stuff back in the package. Even though I bought it a month after, it's been in my house for a month, I always have to put it back in the package to haul it. Anyways, I've been loving this brush so much, and the packaging is so nice. I wish they would, like, write the name of the brush, but anyways, this is the Precision, 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 I don't know if I'm saying that right, Powder Brush love it so much it's big and soft and amazing so i've been loving this um and then she was also raving about this lipstick this is the beautifully i don't know how to talk today beautifully bare satin lipstick um in touch of nude the packaging on this is gorgeous it looks like not elf it's really nice and it's like heavy Right as I was talking about how this package doesn't look cheap, it breaks. Yeah, now you're not going to believe me, but anyways, I like this packaging, but it just broke. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Um, this is the beautiful... Guys, what is happening? Um, forget the fact that this is good quality packaging. It just popped off. Anyways, it looks good quality. Nicole said she thinks this is, like, one of the prettiest nudes ever, so I really wanted to try it. I'm not a fan of, like, regular lipsticks most of the time. I just like, like, liquid lipsticks. But this is, like, not totally glossy. It's a satin, like, just how it says, satin lipstick. So, um, it's not too shiny. It's a bit, you know, dulled down. It's, like, in between a matte and a gloss. And it's pretty good, like, pigmentation. I think it looks really pretty on the lips. Um, and I wasn't disappointed. So, this is a nice lipstick. And it was, like, five bucks. So, I really recommend it. And it has a nice formula. It's really moisturizing. So, yeah, I got that. Um, and then, this has been, like, I've been loving this brush. This is the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. And um, Emily Noel 83 loves this brush, and I heard other people talk about it as well. Like, I think Kathleen Lights likes this brush, too. And I've been wanting a brush to, um, like, a bigger brush than my Real Techniques setting brush to apply my under-eye setting powder. So I thought this would be perfect, because, like, it just can get right in there. And it's good for that, but I prefer the Real Techniques 
um, setting brush for that, but what I've been loving this for is highlight. I've never had like a proper like highlighting brush. Um, all my brushes just apply too much in like too much area or it doesn't apply enough. This is like the perfect highlighting brush and it's like three bucks. So you need this. Like anybody who loves makeup needs this brush because it's honestly amazing. Like it just applies the perfect amount of highlight and just gets right in there. It's perfect. So this has definitely been a favorite um, brush of mine. And the last things I actually bought were these two products. They came together. I couldn't buy them like separate. I bought it mainly for this, but it, it wasn't in stock. So I bought like the little set for $8. It was called like the Sweet Cheeks set or whatever, but it came with a blush and bronzing powder duo and the highlighter that I wanted. So this is the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter and Blush Gems. Kathleen Lights love this, loves this blush and we have like the same skin tone so I thought I would love it too. And I've been wanting like, you know, another highlighter. But this kind of sucks. Like I don't know how people love their baked highlighters. I, the, the pigmentation just, it isn't there. And the color is like too dark for me. Like it looks like I applied, I don't know if you can see that. Where did I apply? Right here. It looks like I applied blush just way too far up. Like, I'm way too pale for this type of color highlight. But Kathleen Lights is my kind of skin tone. So, I don't know how she loves it. I don't know if I'm applying too much, but it just doesn't. It looks too dark. You could see where the highlight is, and it's not that metallic, so it, like it's not worth it. I'm really disappointed. I don't think I'm going to get another baked highlighter from them. So this is the Blush and Bronzing Duo. Love the packaging. This is in the color St. Lucia. I don't wear blush, so I've, I haven't been using the blush, but the bronzer has been nice. I feel like it's just a bit like of a darker version of NARS Laguna. It has like that same type of shimmer quality to it. Really smooth. I've been liking this as a bronzer, so yeah, and I love the packaging. It's just so sleek, so yeah. I bought the duo for this, but I've been using this more. And the last things in this haul are my little free mystery bag stuff. So um, the things I got in my free mystery bag, this is like probably my favorite thing out of this whole box. And I didn't even buy it. I didn't plan on getting it. Um, and this is the e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner. Guys, I haven't had the best experiences with e.l.f. eyeliners before. I don't know. I tried them like four years ago. But I got this for free. I didn't buy it. So I was like, okay, like I might as well just try this eyeliner. It is amazing. And I am going to repurchase this forever. So this is like the brush. is just like a felt tip pen style brush and I'm gonna show you it is just an amazing eyeliner it's so matte it's so black it's so like the brush makes it really easy to do a, like a nice wing and it stays on all day doesn't smudge it's matte all day I am in love with this eyeliner it's so good and it's three bucks so instead of repurchasing like my usual like holy grail eyeliner the physician's formula one I'm gonna start purchasing this because it's way cheaper um I also got the elf daily face cleanser with purified water um what I like about this is it has no parabens no sulfates no phthalates so it's a bit you know better for your skin haven't tried it yet but I will love the packaging it's just like a fun Tiffany blue color um, and then I got this these two things from their essential line I don't like their essential line so I don't really love these two um, products but this is the elf flawless eyeshadow and tantalizing taupe and these are pretty like powdery pretty chalky they're not like the best eyeshadows they're not bad but like I just have better quality eyeshadows that I rather use but like this one is nice like you know it has good pigmentation and when you blend they kind of blend away into nothing so got that and the other um, thing from the essential line I got in this free little bag is the uh, beautiful no sun-kissed glow bronzer where'd I get beautiful and this is okay um 
it's just really peachy to be a bronzer like I feel like it's almost like the color of champagne pop but not metallic so I feel like it wouldn't be a good bronzer I'm too pale for it to be a highlight that was just kind of a fail for me but I think it would be really pretty as an eyeshadow so yeah that was my elf haul I really really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day bye